Got my little girl. Are we gonna be late? Are we gonna be late? Are we ever not going to be late? Going to school. Drop the little girl. School has begun. Okay, now I gotta get moving. It is cold today, windy. It's like nine degrees. Anyways, I've got a ton of stuff to do. List, list, list. Let's, uh, let's start knocking off stuff on our list. Stopped at a drive through bank and <laughs> opened my wallet. I've been opening my wallet for, well, since uh, the other day. <sighs> There's a dead bug squished in there <laughs> from the weekend. There are a lot of bugs around on the weekend. Thank goodness they didn't bite. Uh, if you breathe them in, and I uh, sure pulled a few of them out of my nose. <laughs> I opened up my wall, I couldn't believe it. There's a squish bug. This is the uh, motor mount that I got for the siren. It's in the center position, which is higher than what uh, the original position is. Let's see what I can do. Without knocking it off. It's the lowest position, which gains me four inches lower. Huh. To check the motor. I don't know if this is going to be the best solution or not. of a wood block in there. I've made the easy decision of putting it back in the car and we'll go home and Google and see what uh, see what this thing is and how it's supposed to work. It only drops at three inches. I thought it would drop it much more than that. Oh, well, maybe I bought the wrong thing. We'll see. For now, I'm going to step my mast and uh, get this in the water. I'm going to change my hatch cover slides now. Got the other ones in there. So it's a matter of unscrewing them and screwing the new ones back on with some waterproofing behind them. Which is beautiful. I'll reuse what's on the back of these ones now. But you can see some tape there and there. I've done that so I can match the spots where the uh, hatch boards were. I'm also going to put the hatch boards on to confirm that that's actually the spot. Because I just screwed these on. I didn't uh, measure anything when I made them. I've got four screws here. I'm just going to zip them out. Look, butyl. So I'm not going to have to put much here. That butyl is going to uh, look after any leaks. clean the butyl off though. So we'll do that. To, I'll get this other side off, clean it off at once. I'll put this on just to see where things are gonna be. It looks like I can use my same marks for the holes and everything. On that side.
same as on this side. I'm trying to fit in this bottom one. That goes in pretty easily. Got a little play. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, that's good. I look. My overlap here is on maybe half an inch. I've got a quarter on here. So maybe I'll move this in a little bit just to uh, give it a little more coverage. It's always been this side that breaks. I'm going to have to check my holes to see if I do have enough room to do that. Okay, just gonna pick my uh, butyl off and uh, put it around the holes again so that it screws uh, just more or less just like that. We want the butyl built up around the screw so that it doesn't let water get in. Okay, I'm gonna put a screw in at the top here. The rest of the screws in. <laughs> Done. I'll give that a little tighten up, but uh, yeah, there we go. There's our new hatch line. Let's do the other side now. Okay, I'm going to screw this other one in. I've set it in place, got all the butyl ready. Start at the top again. That's what they look like. The other one. And here's our old ones. This is, uh, well, it's scrap now, but I'll probably keep it for another project. I do have one good hatch slide left, but I don't know how good it is. It's cracked already, too, here. Okay, let's uh, put the doors on and see what they look like. That's much nicer to use. It's quicker, easier. I don't have to fit things into that little slot of these old ones. I have to kind of play around and get things right in that slot. Works well. Look at that. It's a nice fit. The, uh, well, they fit the way they normally would. Oh, that's good. Another project done. Yeah, sometimes I'm not recording at the, the really interesting times. I carried the motor back here and the boat tipped up. <laughs> My license plate bent a little bit. It's no big deal. It's on grass, boat at all. But it was up on an angle. That's how uh, how balanced these are on the trailer, right? I've, I've got a couple anchors in the front. Uh, it's a bunch of stuff, but I've got five gallons of gas back here. Well, maybe seven gallons of gas, some water, the motor. It makes it uh, pretty uh, easy to tip, especially with my weight on it, too. Okay, uh, got the, my motor on. My rudder's still in there. I'm just going to clean up and go throw this in the lake. The same thing, lift at the club. It's got springs on it. That would be handy, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'll have to look into getting these springs. This could be comical. I hope not.
So that's how you do that. I usually tie a longer line so the boat can go up further. But it's, I know the ramp, so I know I can do that. Okay, gonna get, take the car up and then I'll take the boat over to the dock. Look at that cute little boat. Lake Fanshawe. In all its glory. It's not that electric green yet. We get a shot of where that motor might sit if it goes down that extra amount. So it might bring it this to the water, the water level to here. I don't know. I'll think about that thing. And uh, maybe some springs for it too. So it does seem to be lacking springs. Maybe it didn't come with springs. Oh well. Let's take the boat over to its dock. There we go. There's my little boat. And my owl. Look at that. Trailer stored in the woods. Let's get out of here. I gotta find the Stewart or Colin. Problem with the uh, safety boat yesterday. The, uh, went to use it, it worked fine, but I can't tilt the motor back up, so it's sitting in the water. And we don't want that with the safety boats. We don't want that with any boat out here, the motor sitting in the water. Well, that's where I'm gonna wrap it up for today. Thanks for watching. Please click the clicky things, and uh, if you've got any broken wood bits on your boat, they're not that hard to make. I don't know if I'll, yeah, I'll try and put all that together into a, a <clears throat> tutorial type thing. Uh, yeah, so it'll be an extra video.